In this video, we're going to show you how to replace an intermediate steering shaft on your Toyota Camry. Let's get started. Grab your seat belt. We're going to loop it through the steering wheel. Then we're going to go to the buckle. Get that buckled in place. And we're going to try and make this as tight as we can so our steering wheel has no room to move. We're going to reach under the dash. We're going to find the steering shaft. We're going to use a 12 millimeter socket and we're going to remove the bolt at the top. If you're having trouble getting at the bolt at the position it's in, you can always turn the steering wheel and relock it in a position where you can get the bolt better. Remove the bolt. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the lug nuts. Remove the wheel. Using a 12 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the bottom bolt for the steering shaft. We're going to be reaching through the wheel well to do this. There's a spot in between the differential and the exhaust that you can reach up and grab your ratchet. This will give you a little bit more leverage if you need it. On the steering shaft, there's going to be a slit that runs down the side. I'm going to mark right under that slit. And that's going to be our marker for where we will want to put the steering shaft back to. Using a hammer and a punch or an air chisel, we're going to pop the steering shaft off of the rack. Just like that. Using a wire brush, we're gonna go around and clean the rack shaft as best as we can. Once we've removed the steering shaft off of the rack, be sure we don't move the wheels at all. We wanna keep the position of the rack exactly where it is. Using a pair of pliers, we're gonna squeeze the two tabs on the clamp. And then using a small pick, we're gonna lift up and disconnect it. And then our clamp is loose. Pull that clamp up out of my way. I'm going to pull the rubber grommet out of the boot. Remove the steering shaft and pull it out. You may need to use a small pick or pry bar to help you push down on the top of the shaft. Make sure your clamp is around the boot. And install the steering shaft. We're going to leave this dangling just like that and we'll go down below and stick it on the rack first. Before installing the steering shaft onto the rack, I'm just gonna put a little bit of lube on the shaft. It'll help it slide on easier and hopefully come off easier next time we do it. Keep wiggling the shaft and get it all the way seated. Install the bolt into the steering shaft. Get it started and then we'll snug it down. We're going to snug the bolt down on the bottom.
Torque the bottom bolt to 26 foot-pounds. Install the wheel and get the lug nuts started. Snug down the lug nuts. And we'll torque the wheel on the ground. Torque the lug nuts in a star pattern to 76 foot-pounds. We're going to pull the shaft up and install it onto our steering wheel shaft. Keep going until it's fully seated. Snug the bolt down. Torque the steering shaft bolt to 26 foot-pounds. Make sure the clamp is in position around the boot. We're going to pull the two tabs and make sure our clamp locks into place. Once you're done wrapping this up, take your car down to the shop, have them check your alignment. Remove the seat belt. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.